to the blue welcome to my channel libras this is for the sign of libra sun moon and rising or anyone interested in the libra let's begin i'm Janita blue if this is the first time to my channel a bit of a welcome to you i'm so grateful to have you here right now we're going to shuffle the deck and see what energy is surrounding our libras so how i do my readings is i start off with the oracle card after i finish i tap into some tarot i clarify my tarot after that we tap into an oracle card to get the overall the, to get the um, more expansive energy about your reading after that we do a romance section where we tap into your love life after we finish our romance i'll give you the opportunity to ask any question that you like to ask finally closing out with an affirmation card that you can work with and use affirmations are amazing because it helps with our subconscious mind and increase our ability to do things that we didn't know were possible so thank you libras for being here sun moon rising venus or anyone interested in the leo spirit what energy is surrounding our libras <laughs> what energy is surrounding our libras this is for libra libra you got plant the seeds libra the fertilizer the plant the seeds libra you i don't know why i just touched my head libra i'm just like I need you to plant the seeds. Start with the mental capacity. Libra, you have the ability to grow anything. You are, you just have these natural gifts. You're just blessed. And I think I did like this because you are an air sign. And so it's a lot of mental capacity. And it's really that balancing of things. So Libra, I really want you to plant seeds of whatever it is that you desire. You want a new career. You want a new mindset. You want a new job. You want a new relationship. Whatever it is, Libra, you want, you have the ability to bring it into place. But what I need you to do is plant the seeds. And it starts right here here it starts by making a phone call it starts by asking a question it's like it is the things of knowing that yes this is available this is capable for me i am able to do this i do have the ability to bring this into my experience whatever it is libra it starts by planting the seeds that's the only way you're going to get a harvest right that's the only way you're going to get a harvest is by planting those seeds and you got the seeds right here. You got to do is put them in the dirt. Okay? Like, plant the seeds, Libra. Plant them. Plant them. You can even metaphorically plant seeds and, like, watch how things grow. So you can see, like, oh, in my life, whatever I want can truly grow into being. That would be a great idea. Okay, Spirit. So, thank you. Our Libras are going to plant seeds in this season. To bring what they want into fruition so go ahead and give us the past present and future energy for our libras starting with the past what past energy is affecting our libras for the highest good and the highest good of all whoa we're gonna start with these two thank you i love this yes plant the seeds empress libra you are beautiful Male or female, you have a beautiful energy around you. People love you. People are drawn to you. You are like, people just want to be near you. you. You have this essence about yourself, okay? And you are in a space where whatever you want, you're at a new beginning. Whatever you want is possible because right now you have approached a fresh start. You can start whatever it is that you want and it takes planting those seeds but this is your opportunity to bring these things into your experience it's new the past is over the past is over and right now it's time to step out on faith okay present energy for our libras meditation the four of cups so with the four of cups libra literally meditate go within yourself and see what it is that you want to have what you want to be what you want this life to look like for you and meditation is a great way to do that you can start with guided meditations on youtube i have a guided meditation on my channel you can listen to you can take a walk spend some time alone think 
journal, whatever your form of meditation is. And it's a great time to explore that if you're not a meditator, prayer. If you're not a meditator, this is the excellent time to plant seeds of meditation and figure out how do you meditate. Really go into that, but it's really requiring you to go within yourself right now and really give and pour into yourself. That's really needed. Okay, future for our Libras. Not the four four. <laughs> and then you got the four of wands coming out in your future. And the four of wands is new beginnings. It's like stability. It's 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 giving foundation. It's giving celebration. I see you celebrating something. Like it's not closed in. It's open. It's air. It's free. It's fire. It's creative and it's passionate. Libra, plant the seeds of something beautiful that you are soon going to celebrate. So start where you are with zero, with with nothing but this beautiful energy. You don't have to have the money, the roots. You don't have to have those things right now. They're coming into to you you're going to meditate and bring these things into your experience but what you must first do is start planting the seeds because this celebration is here and i love this journey for you let's go ahead and clarify the fool of beginnings in the empress please clarify this for our libras okay you got the queen of this which is nurture you are you birth things before whether your mother whether you have you've done something amazing you know how to birth things into experience and right now it may be this point of stagnation but you know how to bring things into form you have the dedication the patience the love the nurturing energy to truly bring something into this world and this next thing that you're going to bring into this experience, have no fear in your mind that you can't succeed because you've birthed things. You've birthed beautiful things. Okay? So really have confidence in that and trust that you have the capacity of birth. Spirit, please go ahead and clarify the Four of Cups meditation. Yeah, you got the Princess of Swords curiosity. And the reason why it's so important for you to meditate is to realize because because maybe you don't know what it is quite exactly you want, right? Or you don't know exactly what that's going to look like. But taking that time to truly go within, you're going to be able to understand and have the visions of what it is that you want to bring into this experience. So taking that time off, taking that time away to truly pour into you, you're going to be, get realizations, downloads, information that you need. And the answers, this is, this is your answers right here, but you must silence yourself, close close off from out, outly distractions, go within and see what it is that you are currently being blessed with. And be curious and have fun. It doesn't have to look like what you think. Be open to new experiences and possibilities and you got six generosity at the bottom of the deck is going to be something that you can bless others with whatever this whatever this thing that you're planting seeds is is going to be so we're going to go ahead and clarify the four of wands for our libras four of wands for libras please clarify four of wands for our libras temperance balance you are having to are you going through a spiritual awakening on my hands? What are you, what are you doing right now, Libra? I listen. You are going to learn to balance some stuff. You're gonna some whatever the seeds is, whatever this is that you're bringing into your experience is going to bring you pure bliss. I'm talking about a peace you, a new type of peace you haven't experienced before. This you're gonna be celebrating. You're gonna be happy. You're gonna be calm. You're gonna have balance. Life is gonna be smooth. Life is gonna be easy. Life is gonna be good. You're just gonna feel totally at ease and totally in peace because of what you are bringing into your experience by planting these seeds so we're going to go ahead and give us a closing tarot card let's see yeah yes oh my god i love you okay so you got two cards you got the ace of wands and the princess of wands now let me explain what these cards mean so with the ace of wands pertaining to your energy it's like 
you clearly have this new space, to, uh, this new opportunity to go within and, and to birth this new thing, right? And to plant the seeds and watch it grow. But this card is telling you that you are being so supported. Like you have this burst of energy, your spirit. It is it's not, you don't want to know where this is coming from. It is coming from your spirit. It is coming from your soul, a desire that you have with inside yourself, Libra. Something that you have with inside yourself. It's like, I don't can't be in this space no more I can't I can't just have like you just like like you are elevated into a new space and this happens so elegant so beautiful just like you are but it's so expansive because it is literally passion for you it is coming from your spirit and you also have the princess of wands of exploration this may be something you haven't done before and it is requiring you to be open try things you haven't done before if you don't even listen to these types of videos on youtube like listen in and be open to truly receive this message like explore something different tread new waters go to different places meet new people it's time to explore have fun on this journey because you are going to bring something so amazing into this experience and it's going to be something that you've never it's just going to be something so beautiful and i'm just really excited to see how how you do this i'm excited to see how you do this spear please go ahead and give some advice for our libras what advice do you have for our libras as they experience this journey what advice do you have for the libras Wow. Thank you. Advice for Libras. Advice for Libras. Advice for Libras. I told you. Didn't I say? Didn't I tell you? I told you, Libra. <laughs> so, I told Libra. All right, cool. So you got what do you, you got six and nine. Okay, so it's just giving a lot of duality, a lot of balance, just like you got six and nine. So what do you feel? This is your chance to explore something different, do something new. Don't worry about what, don't worry about what anybody else says for you. Like, don't worry about what people think that you should be doing, how you should be acting. Don't, don't think about that. What do you want, Libra? What do you want to experience? What do you want to feel? Start there. That's where you begin. If you don't know where to start, start there. What do you want to experience? What does your dream life look like? Start meditating. Start visioning. There's nothing that you cannot have, be, do, or experience. So don't limit yourself, okay? Really expand your mind. Take the time to journal. Write down things. I would love to have this. I would love to have this type of home. I would I would love to have this type of experience. I would love to have this type of career. I would love to have this type of relationship. I would love to have these thoughts. I would love to have this feeling. I would love to have this type of experience within my body. I would love to have this. Just think about what if I could start playing with that. Start visualizing that. Start feeling good with the next experience. Live there. Spend a lot of time in that space. These, this is how you plant the seeds. You plant the seeds in your mind. This is how you start. Hmm, I would love to do this. And then what happens mysteriously? Somebody calls you and or you see a sign or bump into something. This is the type of thing that you are currently experiencing. This, you are birthed in this. This is your experience. So what do you feel, Libra? And you also got shocked the new. Look at this. It may be something you have never done before. I showed you. Your people are gonna be so shocked once you plant these seeds, and, and and it's gonna as it grows, people are gonna be like, "What? You grew what? You did what?" People are going to be so shocked by whatever it is that that you are doing. It it doesn't matter though because what you're gonna do is do something that's truly passionate to you. You may not even recognize yourself afterwards, Libra. Oh my goodness. Yes, Libra. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and pull some love messages for you. What energy surrounding love for you? So this could be for self-love. This could be a past love. This could be a love that you haven't met. You will know when you hear this message what it is pertaining to, okay? So let's tap in and see. I love messages for Libra. Libra in love. Show us the love. What's happening in our Libra love life? What's happening?
confident in our Libra's love life. Hmm. Mm. <sighs> see, see. When it all starts happening, Libra, I need you to like comment down below and tell me what it is that you want to bring in your experience because all of this is taking place and all of this is happening. It's so exciting. You got transformation. It says your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers all and transforms all things. What has this reading been about for you? Transforming transforming your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things come on you are completely changing are people even gonna recognize you anymore i love it are you gonna recognize you anymore all right libra so this is the part of the reading that gets me so excited because you get to ask a specific question so i've been channeling messages and giving you the information that spirit and spirit guides have wanted me to connect and share with you so it's been a beautiful experience and i thank you for being here i thank you for listening i thank you for receiving the messages because i literally create these videos for you to uplift you to inspire you and the way the trajectory lever that you're on you're clearly you're going places so um just you know subscribe share this video comment whatever you can do a little bit goes so far as i'm trying to grow my channel and to connect more people and inspire more people so yeah in this section right here the reading you can go ahead and ask any question that you like so we're going to tap in i'll give you a moment gather your question gather your question gather your question and Ask for an answer. Libra. Ready? Okay. Are you how many questions did you ask did you just ask one or multiple because you got a lot of messages that came out first things first Libra you're ready you are ready you now is the time you are you are ready you weren't ready before and that's okay but now you are ready you got big happy changes I just want to hug you big happy changes you got trust 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 you have to believe in this you have to believe you have to know you have to trust expect that it's happening trust you got in the near future it's coming soon baby coming very soon coming very soon you got help you got helpful people me others loved ones expect ex think about somebody i'm talking synchronicities people are coming to help you succeed you're not in this alone you got acts from help from others again Helpful people, ask for help from others. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask. And lastly, you got be assertive. Be absurd. Be assertive. I don't know what you ask, but that's your answer. Be absurd. Be assertive. Be assertive in your dream. Be assertive in these seeds. Know that. Imagine yourself right now planting. Say, I'm planting seeds for this. I'm planting seeds for that. Physically, put your hands in it. Visualize yourself. Go grow something. Get some dirt, plant some seeds, get some plants, watch them grow. That's just an idea. If you don't do all that, just visualize yourself planting. <sighs> this is so, this has been a very powerful reading, Libra. So, I created an affirmation deck, and we're going to go ahead and pull an affirmation that you can work with as you are going through this time of planting seeds and transformation to grow. And this affirmation that you can work with. So like I said, I created this deck. So coming soon, you'll be able to purchase this and work with this deck. It's literally from my heart. And subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, at Blue. So when it drops, you can be the first one to get it. Okay? So what affirmation does our Libra need to hear right now to assist them and work with? This is for Libra. 
This is for Libra. So you got three affirmations that came out today. Okay. You gotta grab that. Oh, four, actually. Okay, Libra. You got, I am beautiful inside and out. I light up every room I walk in. So repeat these after me. I'm beautiful inside and out. I light up every room I walk in. Next, you got, I eat foods that uplift my spirit and nourish my body. I eat foods that uplift my spirit and nourish my body. Next, you have, success is my birthright. Success is my birthright. I got to say this one more time for you. Success is my birthright. Lastly, Libra, you have what is meant for me will be. I love and appreciate the person I am today. One more time. What is meant for me will be. I love and appreciate the person I am today. Yes, powerful. Okay, Libra, so that is your reading. My name is Janita Blue, always reminding you to be blessed, be beautiful, and most importantly, Libra, be you. Always be yourself, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. I wish you love and light. Mwah. Ciao. <laughs>